In all counts, as ever, Nagai, especially so on Saturday, there'll be a severe wind chill. You really will notice the difference then. But I'm going to give you a heads up of what's happening really towards the end of this week and into the weekend. It is going to be cold. There's the risk of gales or severe gales, and some of us will see rain, sleet, or snow. So more on that in a minute. It's been a cold night, and you can see how through the course of today, the blues move across the whole of the UK so it is going to turn colder than it has been and these are the temperatures at the moment should you be just stepping out. Bridge Fruit is in Cumbria it's minus three, Senny Bridge is in Wales it's minus one and you can see in Newquay in the southwest it is plus seven at the moment so some of us are starting off with a touch of frost, some of us starting off with some snow. These snow showers have been steadily going through the course of the night across northern Scotland dragged in on a cold northerly wind and some of these may well get down to lower levels for a time before they retreat back into the hills but if you're anywhere near a windward coast that's where you're likely to see the showers it could be wintry at times in the north york moors and also the hills in northern ireland but for the bulk of the uk today as well as being a cold day it's going to be a sunny one it's going to be crisp it's going to be dry and it will be quite pleasant actually for this time of year it's the kind of weather that you would expect at this time of year now, as we head on through the evening and overnight, the cloud will already have been gathering, bringing in some rain across the northwest. That's going to be sinking steadily southwards through the night. Increasingly, we'll see those wintry showers across Scotland. Again, some of those getting down to lower levels. Those showers, not all of us will see them. And it will be cold enough under clear skies in the south for a touch of frost. But the wind, again, a feature of the weather, particularly so across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland and also the Irish Sea coastlines. And if anything, as we head through tomorrow, it will continue to be so. Now we've got this area of low pressure and its front sinking south. The exact position of where they land will determine what you get, where the strongest winds are and if you see any sleet or snow. So tomorrow we start off with all that rain pushing away quite quickly by lunchtime. If we follow it around, it's wrapped around an area of low pressure. It's a weather front and that's going to bring in more snow increasingly to lower levels across the north and west of Scotland. Now on Friday, the Met Office has a weather warning out for wind across Scotland, Northern Ireland and parts of Northern England. We could have gusts 60 miles an hour, possibly 70 miles an hour. And you can see further showers as we push further south. Now through Friday night and into Saturday, here's our low pressure. We still have this front wrapped around it. So again, we're looking at snow showers, even at lower levels across parts of Scotland. And in some of the other showers dotted around, you will see some snow, but mostly on the hills. Still very windy, especially so out towards the west gusts to gale force, if not severe gales. Now, as we head through the rest of Friday night and around the sequence, you can see how the rain, sleet and snow pushes farther south. The wind is still strong. It's a straight northerly. It's going to be cold and there will be some frost around as well. So lots going on with the weather. Then on Saturday, the rain, sleet and snow pushes down towards the south. Still windy. Most of the showers are going to be across the North Sea coastline. Some of those could also be wintry, but we'll see a few getting into Wales and the southwest. But the Met Office has a yellow warning out for almost the whole of the UK on Saturday for the wind. The strength of gusts could potentially be damaging or disruptive, except for in the southeast. Now that could change, so do keep an eye on the weather forecast. As we head on into Sunday, oh, forgot I had this chart. This is how it feels, the wind chill. So it's going to feel raw during the course of Saturday. It will feel like below freezing. But on Sunday, things start to settle down. It calms down, the low pressure moves away, high pressure starts to build in. It will still be cold, but it won't be as windy. Now get in, Charlie. Good to hear, Carol. Thanks so much. See you soon. Thanks, Carol.